What's up trainers, it's Rosakas Gaming and Pokemon just dropped a new Scarlet and Violet trailer. There's a ton of information, so let's get into it. All right, starting out with Central Leaks. They did say on August 10th that there is a new Fire Blade Pokemon. It seems that the Fire Blade and Fire Warrior are version exclusive evolutions that share the same pre-evolution I'm loving the designs. I chose Violet, so I'm really excited. The names of these Pokemon are, and I'm gonna try not to butcher it, Armor Rose and Surilids. Surilids? We're going with Surilids. Um, but I think the designs are awesome. I'm very excited to see what pre-evolution. I'm not sure if these are the uh, Bisharp Pokemon that they were hinting to, but uh, I was really excited to see them in the trailer today, and when more information comes out, we'll definitely keep you guys updated. Next, let's talk about Team Star. So in the trailer, we got the rebellious students from Team Star and their leader. I am absolutely loving the flavor of this game. It gives off some Mad Max vibes, but in the trailer, I was really confused because I was like, is this the main like baddie group of the game? But it really does seem like it is just rebellious students Right along with seeing Team Star, we got a battle mechanic, mechanic, that was teased before again by like Central Lee, and it's auto battling. And in the trailer, you see two Pokemon. You're, com you're, you're commanding, what is it? A Makuhita and an Oricorio at the same time against like a pack of Houndor. And that is so exciting. I don't know all of the specifications of what this is gonna be, but an auto battle mechanic is something that fans have been asking for for a long time. So I'm really excited to see that we're finally getting it in one of the games. We also have the confirmation of Victory Road in the game, along with something called Gym Tests, not challenges, tests. I saw you guiding like a herd of Sunflora. I don't know if this is just gonna be another gimmick, but probably before you get to the actual gym leader at the end. But it was, I think, confirmed before that even though you can go to the eighth gym, if that's what you want your first gym to be, I don't think that they scale it, which is really frustrating because we have this awesome mechanic now unlocked of us being able to go and venture out to whatever gym you want, like it, like, like it is in the anime, but they're not scaling it. So they're kind of still forcing you to go in order. So then we have my babe, Gita. Look at her amazing design, first of all. I was really excited when I saw her in the trailer and I found out that she's actually the chairwoman of the Pokemon League for the Paldea region. This is so exciting. Her design is on point, I cannot get over the designs of the Pokemon, the designs of the world, and the designs of the characters. Like we're, we don't have any Bruxish out here yet. We also got revealed a new gym leader. This is Brassius, I hope I'm saying that. He is the gym leader of Artisan Gym. I hope I'm saying that right. It says that the town is alive with flowers, which is why he has like these thorny bush appearance on his clothes. He also has like a thorn whip. Thought that was a little spicy for the trailer, but I guess that's what we're doing nowadays. Next, let's talk about the crab. I'm talking about cloth. Guys, we have something called the Path of Legends and it revealed this awesome giant crab looking Pokemon that apparently is going to be taking the place of what, what we knew of alpha Pokemon from Legends Arceus. I don't know too much about the Path of Legends, but I'm gonna guess it's something similar to what we did in Legends Arceus, where you went down to all of the Pokemon Cleavor, Avlog, all of those, and you had some kind of battle to prove yourself with them or whatever it's going to be. But I imagine it's just gonna be several large Pokemon boss battles that you have to do, which I'm all for. Overall, I have some really high hopes for this game. There are some things that I really hope that they clean up by the time of release, but honestly, who knows? Um, let us know in the comment section down below which version you are picking up and what news from today's trailer has you the most excited and what information you hope to get before the game releases. My vote is I would love to know what my starter Pokemon evolutions look like before I pick up the game. Keep Sprigatito on his feet, but I already know that's not gonna happen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that follow button, that bell notification, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.